Hey everybody, Jessica Kubasi here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use selective color, um, different techniques for using it to color your image. Now for this image, I actually had it colored like this. And if you'd like to see how I did this effect, uh, please comment or shoot me a message and I'll find time to make one because this needs a tutorial on its own. But in this, in this specific tutorial, I'm just going to go over some quick ways on how you can color an image. Selective color is really good because it basically targets one color that you want to use or you want to see in the picture. So, oh, I'm sorry. I, I just kind of did that by habit, just going through it. So you want to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then go all the way down to Selective Color to get what I just got. So you're going to come up with this cute little window over here. And I will spend hours in this thing playing with it. This is one of my favorite adjustment layers because you can really do so much. So um, the reds, there's a lot of different panels here, reds, yellows, greens, all that good stuff. The main ones that I use are reds, yellows, whites sometimes. I hardly use neutrals unless I'm really going above and beyond. And sometimes I will use black. That's only if I'm using, if I want to get a specific color in my picture, which I will show you in just a bit. So um, reds and yellows normally will change the picture immensely. Those two are the colors fun in most pictures, at least in my opinion. So as you can see, I'm just toggling this back and forth. You can see already, I'm going to zoom in a little, you can see that it's already making quite a big difference like it's pulling out the reds and pulling in the reds so honestly my process for this I will literally just sit and play around with this the yellow tab in the red tab the yellow t yellow option in the red tab is um very significant because it it's obvious yellow yellows and reds are primary colors and I don't really know if it's primary <laughs> I forgot I went to art college and I forget all this stuff but they're the ones that I most use. Black, I like to use black when I'm trying to get more skin tone and texture in the picture. So as you can see, I'm literally just playing around with this. Um, you might wonder what Absolute is. I actually never, don't really use Absolute that often, honestly. Um, I usually just keep it relative. I've never really used Absolute ever. So let's just see what kind of looks nice. Mm. Yeah, it's looking kind of nice and I'm going to toggle this back and forth so you can see it's very slight but it's it really does make a difference in the end you can add in that black you can add in the black there or take away now I'm going to go over to my yellows and play with that a little and as you can see it's already making a huge difference in the background you can just play with that. And let's say, okay, let's say I like how it looks like this, but I only want the background to be this color, this specific color. You're going to take your brush. I'm just making it a little bigger now. And I'm going to set it. I'm going to invert the mask by pressing Command I on Mac. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a white brush on this mask right here. And I'm literally just going to paint over it. And you have to make sure your opacity is 100. And I'm literally going to paint over here so it only affects this area. And I'm going to show you what this does. If you want to change it up a little so that only the background is affected. So that's kind of cool. Like, for instance, let's say I want to... Do black zone. Oh, that looks kind of horrible. <laughs> I wouldn't use the blacks for the background areas. But that is if you want to just change the background or a specific part of the picture. So let's just make another selective color layer. And let me play around with that a little more. There's really honestly not like a magic process for this. It's literally trial and error. Any any photographer or designer who says, oh, here there's certain way that I do this or there's a certain 
color that you use for a certain picture no to me you just play around and you see where it goes from there at least that's that's my personal process so let's see what else we can come up with so I mean you can honestly whenever I use cyan I never get any color from it it doesn't really do anything I don't know if it's just my eye that I can't see but whites is kind of a cool thing because if you pull back all the whites it intensifies the um, brighter parts of the face. So if you wanted like a highlight, that's kind of cool. So as you can see, it's already popping out some color there. And blacks is kind of nice if, um, for instance, you want to pull the blacks and replace it with another color. So in some pictures, there's an effect where there's like blue in replacement of the black, which is kind of nice if you do it in the right way. And you can make it darker like this, or you can make it, you can like lower the opacity of the black. My words are not that fancy, mind you. I'm not really one for public speaking <laughs> that often. So it's all about playing around with this. I like to pull back the yellow. Normally, whenever I'm using this tab of black, I normally will just pull back the yellow and very subtly, like just a little bit like that kind of gives it like a nice um, effect to it and no, and again sometimes I'll just add in some yellow in here let me see if I can if there's any more yellow left to add in here it kind of looks nice so it's all about how you're playing around with the colors and you can add this to color you can add it to lighten See how it, I just added this layer to color and duplicated it, and it kind of looks cool already. I mean, I wouldn't. Oh, that looks really. That looks nice. I put it to saturation. Um, it's all about playing with layers and layer settings. If I set this to lighten, if I just set this to lighten, it kind of gives it very soft. Like it brings out the colors, but it's really soft, which is nice. Screen. That's how it looks. Screen. Multiply. My favorite layers are lighten and color for um, most when I'm adding uh, adjustment layers for color. I'll usually use lighten. I use a lighten a lot. And um, you can layer selective color layers on top of each other and just do different effects. And if you want to use neutral, which I'll show you real quick. Neutral pulls out a lot of the color. So if you want if you want it more yellow like this, you're going to go to neutral and you're going to pull up all the yellow so it can show through more. But that's really if you want a, a dramatic change in the picture. So let's just see how it looks. If I, oh, that looks kind of nice. If you hire the black, it gives more texture and then you can set it to, let's say, lighten. And lower right here. Even just setting it to normal and bringing it down a little from its original state, you can see it. It really does look nice, and it's not too overbearing. So, and um, you just keep layering it on. I would literally, I will use tons of selective layers. Um, my life is just complicated like that, but um. You don't have to use a million layers. You can use a couple, but I really do encourage anyone who is using a, um, an adjustment layer to play around with layer settings because they do make a difference. Even overlay kind of gives it a nice um, contrast right there, very slightly. So play around, have fun with it. Don't be afraid to get too crazy. Experiment with every single tab and see... Um, what colors you like, what colors you don't like, and what effects um, you come up with for each picture. So just experiment. 